Ah, yes. Whiskey eases my mind. Or numbs it. Either way, it's always been a reliable comfort drug for me. It ain't curing nothing, but it helps keep the train on the tracks. Now, I'm not going to sit here and tell you my relationship with booze has been nothing but roses. We've had our ups and downs. Since the downs are more interesting, I'm going to share one of those with you. We're starting at the bottom of the barrel here. All the way back to 1993 we go. Jurassic Park's number one at the box office. Jordan's Bulls beat Barkley's Suns in the NBA Finals. Waco, Texas, federal agents kill a bunch of women and children to win a dick-measuring contest with a deranged narcissist. God will have to sort that out, won't he? And in Wilkes-Barre, Pennsylvania, I catch a serious beer buzz and experience my first sexual encounter. This is all big-time stuff, you see. It's summertime, I'm 11 years old, so I'm just starting to go through puberty. You know when you're right on the cusp of blossoming? No pimples yet, no rank body odor. I'm rocking the slightest patch of fuzz in the crotch area. At this stage, I'm not quite sure what to do with erections when they randomly pop up. I try rubbing my dick against the couch cushions, flicking it around. I haven't yet cracked the code on ejaculation. I'm hanging out with my buddy Lee a lot that summer. Now, Lee's a couple years older than I am. I sleep over his house often because his bedroom's in the basement. Pull out couch for me to crash on, his own TV with a VCR and Sega Genesis hooked up. Plus, after his mom goes to bed, we can easily sneak out the cellar doors and gallivant around town. We're out late one night. Lee tries to buy cigarettes at Turkey Hill, but the cashier denies him. I mean, sure, Lee's 13 years old, but come on, Turkey Hill, it's 2 a.m. Anyhow, we leave the store and bump into a local legend named Renee. She was a former blackjack dealer in her mid to late 40s, ridden hard, put away wet kind of gal. Now, her move is buying teenage boys beer in exchange for sex. Everybody knows that. I even recall some of the high school age boys in the neighborhood sharing graphic details of their encounters with her. Stuff like Finger Blast 69. I wasn't sure about the mechanics of it all, but it sounded fun. So we ask Renee if she'll buy cigarettes for us. She not only agrees, she also tells us there's a 12-pack of Rolling Rock in her car that's going to get warm if nobody drinks it. Well, hey now, we like beer. So while Renee's in Turkey Hill getting us a pack of smokes, Lee suggests we invite her back to our place. You know, our place. Lee's mom's basement. Here's the thing. My buddy Lee is 13, and he's got a couple of years of masturbation under his belt, so it makes sense he's horny. I'm 11 and have been feverishly trying to jerk off for over a month, so it makes sense I'm horny. Renee is 40-some years old and has been a serial predator for God knows how long, so it makes sense she's horny. But what makes absolutely no sense is why this grown woman agrees to come back to our place. Why in the world doesn't she just park somewhere secluded and molest us in the tranquil safety of her own car? Who can say, but here we are, the three of us, lounging in Lee's bedroom, drinking Rolling Rocks and watching MTV's The Grind. Welcome back. You're still grinding over here. I'm your host, Eric. It made for decent mood music. At any rate, Renee's sitting on the couch between the two of us, talking about how she used to be a famous Hollywood actress before losing it all in a high-stakes Mahjong tournament at the Trop in Atlantic City. You know, that old chestnut. Eventually, she leans over and starts making out with Lee. I pretend not to watch while chugging my second rolling rock. I don't have much of a tolerance at that age, so I'm a little loose. As I polish off my brew, they continue to go at it, you know, fiddling and faddling. Now, I got a whiz real bad, but the bathroom's upstairs, so I'm worried if I go up there, I'll wake Lee's mom up. Now, if she smells beer on me and charges down the basement, that'd be a real bad scene. (laughs) Because at this point, her son's dick's in Renee's hand. I decide it's best to stay put and hold it. And I am glad I did, because the next thing I know, Renee takes her top off, and her breasts are fucking incredible. (laughs) I shit you not. This woman has foot-long banana-shaped mammaries with areolas the size of dinner plates. I mean, granted, I'm only 11, but in all my years, I ain't seen anything like this. As Renee gives Lee a handjob, the little rascal puts his head in her bosom and sort of wiggles his face around. I mean, he's not quite motorboating her. It's it's too slow. More like paddle-boating? I lean in for a closer peek, and Renee puts my hand on one of her otherworldly breasts, tells me to take off my jorts. I'd be lying if I said I wasn't aroused, so I tear off those fucking bugle boys like they're on fire. Excuse me, are those bugle boy jeans that you're wearing? Now she's jerking both of us off, one on each side. This sick old broad is cross-country skiing on a pull-out couch. Now, since I never hit the slopes before, I got no clue what to do. Is a smooch in order? I mean, I don't know where to put my hands. Hell, I don't even know what to look at. To my left, there's shirtless Eric Neese gyrating to some Eurodance remix. All these guys and all these girls are having a good time in here. All right, hey! 
To my right, I see my old pal Lee getting tugged off to completion, so I just tilt my head back, shut my eyes, and feel the sweet sensation of orgasmic release for the very first time. Mm. After Renee leaves, I am pumped. I'm high-fiving Lee. That was awesome, man. I finally jizzed. Then Lee tells me no. He jizzed. I actually just pissed everywhere. Turns out my orgasmic release was a monster beer piss that I let rip all over the place. On myself, on the couch, on the carpet. I mean, man, alive, I pissed on Renee. Now look, I hate to give a child molester any credit. But between you, me, and the wall, it was pretty classy of Renee to casually get dressed and say goodnight as if I hadn't just sprayed the entire room with urine. That old battle axe took my innocence, but she left me with my dignity. So cheers to you, 11-year-old me. Now, if you'll excuse me, I'm going to go piss on Renee's grave. <laughs>